Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment, it's your boy Marvin. We're going to get straight into a video. Um, thank you for the new subscribers and for the old subscribers who supported me from day one. A lot of respect. And we're going to get straight into a video. Uh, Beanie Sigal says no Diddy and reveals you hear stories about <laughs> Diddy's parties. So a lot of people are sort of coming out of the blue uh, about this. Um, this is the this is on the art of the dialogue uh, which is a youtuber so let's get straight into the video if i do stop the video it's just a quick comment um on what um uh Sigel says you wrote for diddy at one point right yeah yeah i wrote a couple records yeah it was a couple records i don't really I don't really remember the, the, the exact records, though. How did they come about, though, him reaching out to you for you to write for him? I did that early in my career, when I first signed with Rockefeller. Yeah, it was a little bit of war. Yeah, I got the call from uh from Puff, and me him and Nas was going to do a record together. Then I wound up staying at the studio doing a couple records. That's news to me, man, so he was trying to sign you the bad boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's news right there, yeah. I could have been that bad boy. I could have been the Rough Riders. Couple, couple spots. Why didn't you sign a bad boy? I was already committed to Rockefeller. I ain't signed no contract yet, but it was already done. When you look back at hindsight, do you regret it? Being signed to Rockefeller? Yeah, yeah. Hell no. No, I don't, I don't regret that at all. So when you look back at your career, knowing that you could have been a bad boy or rough riders, you still <laughs> you could go back. You were still something. <laughs> you listen to that question you just asked me. Bad boy or rough riders? Maybe rough riders. But right now, in hindsight, looking at things. Nah. <laughs> right, right. Nah. Right, right. Nah. Right. I feel you, man. I feel you. But I got to ask you, man. I got to ask you this. How you feel about the situation Diddy going through right now? Man. It's wild. You know, y'all got that game pause. They stopped saying pause and that was no Diddy. That's a bad joint. That's bad. Man, no diddy. <laughs> Have you ever been to his parties? It seems like to me, um, a lot of people are, his name's brought up and they just, the people I know in well of work with him tend to think that they saw this coming and it doesn't surprise them like it may surprise some of his fans what he used to get up to and stuff. I just think that the internet now is a lot more out there and you can uh, uh, tap into things that go on sometimes in their private lives, which has obviously made world news on Diddy now uh, at the end of the day. But um, this beanie, he seems to think that... Um, he doesn't seem surprised. He doesn't seem shocked about it. Not one. Not one. Not one. Ever. Have <laughs> you heard about him though? Yeah. Yeah, you hear about them parties? Nah, that wasn't for me. No, sir. What you hear about him? Same thing everybody else heard about him. Wow, wow, wow. I think this, I think the big question is, is that a lot of people that knew about these parties don't want to discuss 
because I think a lot of these people went to these parties and they knew what went on and it's been going on for years and I think they're surprised that nothing was said earlier at the end of the day and I think a, um, a lot of people have walked away from Diddy and are not there to help him. Um, he contacted um, his security guy to say, look, if anything comes to you, say that there was no trouble at the house. So we do know that Diddy is uh, basically protecting himself big time and doesn't want any of his secrets to come out. And I think that if he has to exploit a few people, uh, I think he will um, at the end of the day because I think there's a lot of you know, powerful superstars, Kim Kardashian, um, her mother, Kris Jenner, who was well in with Diddy, and it wouldn't surprise me whether they were the big party goers that invited a lot of other people to get the network started for Diddy. So they were the sort of the front people to bring people in, and different people at that as well, because obviously uh, the network of the Kardashians is massive. So yeah, that, the was the end, that, was, that was the end of the video. And it is uh, kind of mad how so many people have come out and said, look, um, this is what's um, happening. Or well, they have a smile on their face and thinking that they sh you know, they're surprised that it hadn't, it hadn't come out a long, long time ago at the end of the day. But like I said, we just have to see what happens. In the cases of B. Diddy, there are many charges and many people still coming forward at the end of the day. And there's many people actually talking about it freely now, but won't really get involved unless they had to. The only case I've heard where um, his security, head of security, was talking a lot about what he said, and he was genuinely honest, but I don't think you get too many people who are uh, going to say too much because they don't want to incriminate themselves or have a uh, um, a court order uh, against their name for uh, basically knocking P. Diddy's character. But I think a lot of people know that he's guilty and they're just waiting for the news that maybe a trial is coming up or he's been charged for something. But I do think the uh, police and FBI are um, stringently looking for everything at the end of the day. So this could go on for a long, long time. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and support the channel. Thank you very much wherever you are in the world. Thank you. Bye.